Just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Ayy The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now Right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking out loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap it. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow, yeah. Don't leave me on red. All we have is the moment Just text, I know it's a toss Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting all day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in And we could keep the face on slow All we have is the moment Okay, you guys, so as you just saw, I went in, I wanted to try out these Insta Wink, um, you know, do it yourself cluster lashes. And these are supposed to be um, already self adhesive lashes. So you're not supposed to need to add bond or glue or anything. But <laughs> yeah, no, uh -uh. it was not sticking. As you can see, when I was trying to put the first one on, kept falling off, was not sticking. And so, yeah. No, this this brand, which I got off of Amazon, I would not um, suggest. Maybe one of the other ones online or on Instagram or some other ones would be good. But these particular ones <sighs> did not stick. So I went ahead, because I wanted to put some lashes on, I went ahead and used some of my regular um, Bond Lash Bond and Seal. So I went in with the Bond. Put the lashes on and then went in with the clear clear seal to seal it so this is what they look like i just wanted to kind of show you guys how i do it um you know and how easy or difficult it is depending on your perspective for me they're pretty easy to do but it's only the larger clusters like those teeny tiny ones that people use i have some hold on so this one is kind of what I'm talking about with the smaller ones, the teeny tiny ones. There's ones that are even smaller than this, but the clusters are very, very small. If you can see that, sorry about the glare. I don't really want to take the plastic off, but the clusters are a lot smaller. So you put in way more clusters to make your lashes nice and full, which these are great to add in. Even with these, if I wanted to make them bigger and fuller, I could add in some smaller clusters, but... It takes too long. If I could <laughs> have ones that were like three clusters, I would. And I would just boom, boom, boom. So I like the larger clusters. But I feel like the base of these self-adhesive ones are thicker 
because they're supposed to have the self adhesive, you know, the adhesive on it. I feel like the base is thicker than the regular ones. And I don't like that because it makes it a little bit harder to, you know, camouflage it or make it less obvious. You know, you can see it more. So, um, other than that though, I do like this lash style. I really do. I feel like it looks really pretty. They're nice, a nice long length, but they're not super duper crazy and full. So, and they're very comfortable. I don't even feel them. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I did my, um, lash extensions at home, you know, and put them on. Typically you can get a pack for like 10, 15 bucks, you know, so it's not too bad. Um, and it's a good deal if you buy the lashes with the bond and the seal. And a lot of times they'll come with bond and seal and they'll come with a little applicator too. So that's cool. But anyway, yeah, so I probably, you know, will have these on during my next makeup look. And then when I take the makeup look, these might come off depending on how aggressively I rub my eyes. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys how I put my lash extensions on. And if you noticed, when I was putting the extensions on, when the applicator would stick to my lashes, because the bond, you know, it gets on your regular lashes, obviously, I would lick in between <laughs> the applicator because it helps it to not stick. You know, that little bit of wetness will help it to keep it from sticking to your lashes and make your life so much easier. Because when it keeps sticking and pulling the lashes off, Ooh, that's annoying. So just a little tip there um, that I learned from watching somebody else do it. And I was like, what is she doing? Why does she keep licking the applicator? But she explained it was because it keeps the applicator from sticking to the lashes and pulling them back off. So, you know, it's my eyes, it's my spit, it's fine, okay? So. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such hey, The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now, right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all loud I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we can run up from the way now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it We could keep the pace on slow, yeah Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment Just text, I know it's a toss Okay, you guys, so as I am continuing the progress with my beauty space, this area over here is really an area that stresses me out. Because as you can see, you know, the shelf has a lot on it, a lot of palettes and whatnot. It's just a lot going on, which I don't mind seeing my palettes, but it's a lot. And I feel like with me going ahead and you know really cleaning up this side of the room and making this side look pretty uniform and you know nice and neat but still have a little pizzazz um this side i kind of want to make it look more neat as well so i decided that where the bookshelf is that has all of my palettes i'm going to um switch that out for the same type of cabinet that i have on this side of the room so I'm gonna get another one of these cute little like white cabinets. I love the style of these. I think they look nice. They're very, very cute and clean. And what I'm gonna do, cause I was gonna put one over here too, but I'm not because I'm perfectly fine with being able to see some of my palettes. I don't mind that. And it's in the corner, so it doesn't really stress me out. So this shelf I'm gonna go ahead and leave open. But this one over here, I'm going to put another one of my closed cabinets. So all of those palettes are gonna be inside the cabinet closed with doors. I'm gonna move my um, ColourPop 
shadows, you know, I'm either gonna put those in the cabinet or I might leave them hanging on the side of the new cabinet. Either way is fine. And then with these lipsticks <laughs> that are really the bane of my existence, cause I really don't wear lipsticks. I don't. And you guys would be probably surprised to know that I've actually decluttered my lipsticks at least three times. And I still have all these lipsticks that I don't wanna get rid of. Lipsticks, lip glosses, this is a cute little lip kit from Huda Beauty that <laughs> I like just because of the container. But um, yeah, even with this amount of lipsticks, I've already broken them down to bare bones. So I don't know what I'm going to do in regards to my lipsticks. They might end up in the drawer part of the new cabinet. We'll see. That's probably where they're going to end up because I'm kind of tired of looking at them. Initially, I put them out so that it would remind me to use different lipsticks. But honey, that has not worked. And it's been like two years that I've been looking at these lipsticks and I'm not using them. I'm really tempted to just lift up this tray and dump it in the trash, <laughs> to be honest with you. That's what I'm tempted to do because sometimes, you know, we just have to be forced to just move on, child. But it's hard, you know, it's hard because it's like when I look at my lipsticks, I'm like, that's money, baby. That's money. So anyways, honey, I don't know. But I think they're going to end up in the drawer for the new cabinet that I put over here. And then after I kind of clear this away, since I'm going to put a cabinet over here that has doors, I'm going to have to move one of these drawers. You know, I'm going to have to move this drawer here because I won't be able to open up the cabinet if I don't move those drawers. So I'm gonna have to move that, which means I'm probably gonna put it on top of this drawer that's over here. So I'm gonna have to move my foundations, move this flower arrangement. Um, so right now, that's what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna kinda move some stuff around. My cabinet is not due to come for another five six days hopefully it comes early and then i'll put it together and put it in the corner but i just want to kind of get this area ready for the cabinet to come so we're going to go ahead and move this drawer i think this one here i don't know if you guys can see i'm going to move this drawer put it on top of this drawer so that I'll have some space here so when the cabinet comes I'll be able to open it up so yeah I just wanted to keep you guys abreast of what's going on but <laughs> eventually this room is going to be nice and clean and neat and it's gonna be really appealing to the eye because that is my whole goal honestly is for this side of the room to be nice and appealing so I'm not stressed out when I'm filming about my background. And then for this side over here to also be nice and appealing and not so cluttered and crazy so that when I sit down to work, I don't have stuff everywhere. Right now it's a mess. You can see I got cords everywhere. Um, here what I have on this, uh, you know my little workspace right here i'm about to go through these single shadows i have different single shadows in here that i want to kind of you know decide if i'm going to keep or not which i'm sure i am okay look at these clarity shadows but i have a bunch of palettes of individual shadows and i'm probably gonna have to find somewhere to put and because they were underneath these lipsticks over here and that was kind of stressing me out, feeling cluttered as well. So it's a work in progress, y'all. But once it's all complete, you guys will be so proud of me. Okay, so proud. Hey, you guys, I just wanted to pop in here and share with you guys like the fastest, simplest way that I have found to clean my beauty sponges and, you know, like the little triangle powder puff things. I have this little um, bag that people put like delicate laundry items in or whatever. You can buy these on Amazon. I'll put a link for it in my Amazon link in the description box. But um, I have found this to be the easiest, fastest, most effective way to clean my sponges and stuff just quickly and easily. Um, I typically, I used to throw these in with my regular laundry and stuff, but now I kind of do it by itself because I don't want you know, they just come out more clean, um, less dingy, and I don't want, you know, the makeup water mixing around with my regular clothes. So I just throw them in one of these little laundry bags, and 
you know, put them all in here. As you can see, I don't know if you can see in there. I just throw my sponges in there, throw the triangles and whatnot in there along with the sponges, as many, you know, as you need to throw in there. If you use, you know, put your makeup on a lot or every day. And child, they come out so <laughs> clean. And I don't even put them in the dryer. I just wash them and let them air dry or whatever because, you know, they don't need to go in the dryer, but they come out so clean. Honey, you ain't gotta sit there squeezing it and washing it with your hands and stuff. And then your little powder puffs, they come out nice and fluffy and fresh, just like brand new. But yeah, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys if you're looking for a quick, easy way to wash a lot of sponges and powder puffs. Just throw them in one of these little laundry bags and you are good to go. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my fan, honey. It's 100 and I don't know what degrees out here in Vegas, so y'all gonna have to deal with my fan. But quick, easy way. Wash a lot of them at a time and, you know, it's easy to at least do that, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm making some progress. So I moved that one set of dresser drawers or drawers over here placed it on top of this one like i wanted to in preparation for my new cabinet that's going to enclose all of my palettes in that corner and i have plenty of room so that i'll be able to open my cabinet over here i'm going to take my little picture i love this picture i'm gonna take that off the wall because she was just stuck there anyway because i didn't know where to put her but yeah, so we making some progress. I'm moving my little drawer over. I'm still in the process of kind of cleaning this area up. And I actually did order a black rug with white detailing for the floor. So when that comes, I'm gonna be super excited because it's gonna really pull all of these other black aspects the cubes and stuff together in this room with the white so we getting there y'all this is the next item that i want to replace in this beauty room is going to be my chair as you can see um the chair itself is white but i purchased this cover to go over it because it's just so old and beat up that it was just becoming you know hard to clean and really picking up a lot of makeup stains eyeshadow stains stains from like <laughs> when I wear blue jeans and stuff. So I grabbed this white cover to put over the chair because of the fact that it um, is easy to just throw into the wash, you know, but I feel like the next chair I get, it's gonna be a dark color. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to grab a black beauty chair for this room since I am getting a black rug. Um, I think it'll look nice if I try a black one, maybe something without arms um just something nice and comfortable for in here that'll go with the new black detailing so i'm really excited to see how it looks though when i put down the black rug with the white detailing and have a black beauty chair i think it's going to be tight so anyways just wanted to share that with you guys that is the next thing that i am going to be replacing um so we'll see how long it takes for that to come in but yeah something a little bit nicer than this old beat up chair with the cover on it just text, I know it's a toss up, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me, as you trying to fall through, I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we overdo what you're doing right now, right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land. We could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment. Shame. 
thing the way it was, now I'm paid by the sentence. Taking my time with it. Baby, give me yours. So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page. Give me with a text voice, note or an emoji. Waiting on day for your name on the ID. So if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere. Y'all, I have been a terrible blogger. <clears throat> I haven't been vlogging much or nothing. I've been trying to get this room together, okay? Ordering stuff from Amazon. As y'all can see behind me, I got me a little rug. I went with the black, the black cubes. I don't know. I might already have this in this uh, vlog. I don't know. But right now, I'm sitting here eating my lunch. This is some, a little lo mein chicken meal, microwave meal or whatever. Come through in a pinch, honey. When you're hungry, you don't want to get no fast food. You don't want to cook nothing. Get you some little microwave meals or whatever. But this one, I really, really like. I get it from Target. I don't remember what brand it is, but it's lo mein chicken and noodles or something. And so that's what I'm having for lunch right now. I'm actually in the process of editing a makeup video. So that's probably going to be out before this. But... I'm really, really trying to get back into uh, filming makeup videos. And I feel like I kind of have gotten overwhelmed <clears throat> by the amount of makeup I have. Just keeping it a buck. Because when I come in my beauty space and since I'm really not... That's my girl, Lily. <laughs> she talking mess like she always do. Talking about, I thought you was going, you supposed to be vlogging. Where's your vlog at? I'm vlogging right now, heifer. But anyway, um, yeah, it's like since I'm not really buying new makeup like I used to, I used to buy new makeup like crazy. Y'all know that. That's why I have so much makeup. Um, but it's kind of like something will really have to just knock me on my behind to make me buy it right now like it would have to be like just amazing okay and it's like very few things that have been doing that i bought um two more of the Inslee rain palettes because that first one the cold moon knocked me on my butt fell in love with this so i bought two more of their palettes i don't know if i showed them but hold on so i got these two i got the harvest moon and the flower moon child these palettes is gorgeous okay absolutely gorgeous and i know i was complaining about the price but baby the shimmers the colors it's just beautiful so i felt like since i buy such little makeup now especially eyeshadow palettes like i might buy an eyeshadow palette like one or two of them every couple of months where i used to buy like six in a week okay and didn't bat an eye but this one here the flower moon oh oh listen what what <laughs> what <laughs> okay i know if you're a makeup lover eyeshadow lover you don't already seen them but child they made me buy them that's how beautiful they are they made me buy them so yeah something would have to be just astronomically beautiful or something that i feel like i don't have anything like it in order for me to buy it Mm. I just got same day delivery from Sephora. Y'all want to see what I got? I know you do. I know you do. Okay. Child, I saw this was really the packaging. The packaging made me buy this because Lord knows I don't need another highlighter. This is a Fenty Beauty Hot Cheeks. This is a blush lighter. Kind of like I'm assuming the um, Huda Beauty one. I used uh, their her blush lighter today. So I'm assuming that it's kind of like that. Which I do like those. But honey, I saw somebody hold up this packaging. Was it on Instagram or something? Had to have it. 
had to have it. And it's like, now I really don't feel bad about the things that I buy. Look at this. Ciao. Tell me this is not gorgeous, okay? This is gorgeous. From Fenty Beauty? Come on now. What is this? This is the baked peach. Hot cheeks, baked peach. So let's take a look, honey. Oh, she pretty. Yeah, she pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all. Oh. Oh, she pretty. That's gonna look really, really nice on my cheeks. Okay, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that glow. Oh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, she pretty. But honey, I bought this for the packaging. I'm not even gonna lie. The packaging on this mug is so pretty. It's so pretty, like, don't play with me. So, I buy so little makeup nowadays that I don't even, you know, if I buy something, I don't really stress over it. But, and I ordered, what did I order? I decided to get the Bailey Sarian um, Melt Palette because I was really, really looking at those shades, really, really looking at those colors, you know, because I have a lot of Melt Palettes and a lot of their stuff has that same, you know, pretty grungy type feel to it. And I was like, mm, I know I got these shades. If not in a melt palette, I got it in another palette. I know that for sure. But it was like when the palette first came out, when Bailey first launched it with them, I really wanted it and it sold out. So now that they have it and it's available and I really, really look at the colors and I'm like, you know what? I like those colors together. Like all of them in one palette. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I hope I'm not making nobody hungry. Because one thing, I am totally easily swayed by the power of suggestion. I could just see somebody with something and I want it. I could turn on the TV and see somebody eating a taco and I bet you I'll be trying to get me some uh, Del Taco. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So... If my little chicken and noodles is making me hungry, I'm sorry, my bad. My bad. But if you want one, it's only a few dollars at Target. Okay, <laughs> so you can get you one. Child, but anyway, okay. I'm going to have, you know, updates on what I'm doing in my room because I'm just kind of like changing little pieces here and there. But the little things that I've done since I didn't really find... <clears throat> anything that just kind of blew my mind decor wise to kind of base my whole decor around deciding to go with the black was perfect because it made the perfect difference for me so yeah it'll probably be in this same vlog where you guys will see everything that I did the cubes the rug you know a little knickknacks here and there and stuff just to kind of refreak my room and just renew my energy for making videos for y'all so and I feel it working already you know I do. Okay, so anyway, yeah, let me finish eating my lunch and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, you guys, I finished my lunch and I ordered a couple of new, like, makeup desk organizer type things. Hopefully I'm not bumping this camera. Hold on. Okay. Like, little new organizers for my desk just to kind of match the black, you know, to kind of bring out the black that's in, that I'm putting in here. But right now I have these acrylic, you know, all the acrylic, the clear, the see-through stuff. And it looks nice. Don't get me wrong, it looks nice. But, you know, I just thought it would be nice if I kind of switched that up as well. So um, I ordered some other like little makeup holder things that are like black acrylic. You know, that see-through black acrylic. So... It's kind of like gray toned or whatever um and those aren't coming until tomorrow these are like little um you know 
organizer type drawers or whatever other little ones that I could use to put things in as well but they're completely black so they're not see-through and so it looks to be a dis decent size though so I'll be able to put um, a good amount of beauty products in it um, Oh, and it feels to be a pretty decent quality too. So let me just show you this. Nice. I'm excited. Uh, but so I bought two of these, and you know, it just has these little drawers or whatever. So I have to figure out. I'll show you guys exactly what the front of my desk looks like. It really is just. A bunch of lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners, you know, the makeup that I pull actually from my shop, my stash that I like to have in front of me, which is it's crazy. I shop my shop, my stash, if that makes sense. So anyway, I have that stuff in front of me. Um, so really, I could definitely reorganize the stuff in these. Um, and have plenty of room and space. It's just a matter of how I want to do it. So let's do that together right quick. Okay, you guys. So this is what I have on my work desk. My station where I sit down to put on my makeup. These are all the clear acrylics that I have. I have my fan, of course, because y'all know I be getting hot. I know y'all be sick of my fan, but child, that's a necessity. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a black one. But I do have pink accessories, so that one still matches. You know, I have lotion, of course, because, you know, the hands be ashy. And I have this little decorative vase that I just stuck this flower in because I thought it was cute. Um, <clears throat> but basically, these two top drawers is the makeup that I am currently using or that I pulled to use this week um more of it is over there actually but these two drawers are drawers that i put makeup item in makeup items in that i wanted to have close to me because i was like oh you need to start using these because you never use them so put them in front of you you think i use these do you think i use these even though they're right in front of my face no i do not <laughs> this is just like an everyday palette from um black opal you know just everyday shades really pretty this is a water liner um palette from makeup by tammy gorgeous colors okay look at those colors in there water activated liners don't use them i have some of these pretty liquid shadows this is from jd glow i don't even know if they exist anymore but this was a pretty multi-chrome liquid shadow shoot it might be dried out by now I have a couple of my Mora shadows in here. I have this pretty pink one. And then I have this one, which looks absolutely gorgeous in the inner corner of your eye. Another liquid shadow for the inner corner of your eye, which I have used that a few times. Some more liquid shadows. Um, I took my glasses off. So anyways, this is a pretty one. This one's from DJ Unique Boutique. Seriously? But yeah, this was one from DJ's Unique Boutique that I have. Um, a couple of more from DJ's Unique Boutique. You guys check her out. You know, she has um, different stuff on her website. I'm not sure exactly what she has mainly on there now that she's moved a lot into skincare. And she does like the uh, microblading of brows and facials and stuff. So, um, but I know she still has some items that she sells. This is a pretty liquid uh, shadow from e.l.f. That one is gorgeous. This one I have used a few times. This is from uh, JD Glow as well. This is actually a highlighter, but I would use it like as an inner corner pop because it's a really pretty, super shiny, iridescent blue. I got this wet and wild highlighter that, you know, I put in there because it's too light for me to use as actual highlighter, but I can definitely use it on my eyes. And this Kylie palette that I bought a long time ago and never ever use it. But <laughs> put it in there, was like, girl, put it in front of you. You use it, you use it, child. It's just sitting in front of me. Do not use it. <laughs> so that's that drawer. Now this drawer, 
same concept. I um, put stuff in here, you know, to use more often, which I have used these Morphe palettes. These three Morphe palettes um, that they came out with, they're kind of like pro palettes. It's like the cool tone, you know, the kind of rosy one, and then the warm tones. I have used these more with them being in front of my face just to grab, you know, on an everyday notion. But they don't need to be in front of me anymore because <laughs> I don't use them enough for them to be in front of me. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Bronze Palette. Put that in front of me because I'm like, that's a beautiful everyday palette. Good to have one of those in front of you. Um, and then I have some other items here. Another highlighter. This one is from Catrice where it's too light for my face, but I put it in there so I can use it for my eyes. This Michaela. Um, this was the pop two, Michaela pop two. You know, she has these green toned highlighters and stuff. Um, I don't know if you can really see that, but they're very interesting shades of highlighter. So I put these in there to use in my inner corner for my colorful eye looks. And then this minted palette, another gorgeous, beautiful, everyday palette. Do not use this stuff. So... <laughs> Y'all can't even see it. I'm sitting here complaining. Y'all can't even see it. But yeah, do not use this stuff. So honestly, I think I might just kind of reintroduce all of this stuff back into my makeup or declutter it, one or the other. Definitely these palettes. I'll probably keep one of these palettes close by, you know, every day. Maybe I'll keep the Supreme bronze because I really do want to use that but all of this other stuff like this is this these are three different drawer sets so they're like you know long narrow strips of drawers and it's three of them let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see it's three sets of drawers so this one I use Every single time I do my makeup because it has my brow stuff, you know, my lash stuff, lip pencils, stuff like that. Um, all of the rest of these, <laughs> I don't even use. These are all lipsticks and lip glosses. These are setting sprays, which, you know, if you can see that, it's a whole thing of setting sprays right here. These are all setting sprays, which I can put away. They don't have to be right in front of me. Um... And these are more eyeshadows that I put in front of me, trying to force myself to use them. My Mora Singles, gorgeous. Um, what is this? More lip glosses, lipsticks. So it's a lot of stuff that really doesn't have to be on my desk. It's just, I have this mental thinking that, oh, if I put it in front of me, I'm gonna use it, and that's not the case, so. What I'm going to do is figure out what I actually want to keep on my desk. And then we'll go ahead and fill, um, you know, at least one of these little new black drawers and see how that goes. Let me show you what I have because I have another um, two more storage things um, in black that I was talking about earlier that are going to come tomorrow. And I'm thinking maybe I should wait because some of this stuff I might want to put in there instead now that I think about it. I might have to wait, you guys. But this is what the other, um, you know, little holder thing that I bought looks like. So I bought two of these as well. And I think that this would probably be better for me to put like my everyday makeup in and stuff. And since I got two of them, maybe I can still have some of this, you know, other miscellaneous stuff in there as well. And I might repurpose the, um, the drawers because this is what this one looks like. So, yeah, let me figure this out right quick, and we might end up doing this tomorrow, but I am going to put some of this stuff away and declutter some stuff.
Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and put, um, you know, my everyday makeup that I'm using right now in the bottom drawers. And then in the top drawers, you saw me kind of rearrange some of the stuff that was in the other drawers where I was like, eh, I don't use it, blah, blah, blah. But I still want to keep some of that stuff in front of me because I still want to use it. Um, so I kept some of the palettes there. I took a couple out. I took the Kylie out and I took the Minted out because I'm probably not going to use those. And kept the little highlighters and stuff to use for inner corner pop. And then I did keep, you know, like some of these cute little palettes in here that I do want to try to use. And then stuff that I always grab for, I definitely need to have that here, you know, close by. I put these two little acrylic containers in here just to kind of help me separate this stuff out. I have my pencil um, sharpeners in here. I have some extra nose rings because I am I stay losing my nose rings. I have, you know, a case for my contacts, um, you know, some nail clippers, stuff like that, that I need to have or I like to have easily accessible. I mean, it's not necessary i guess but that's just my personality honey when i want something i want it within arm's reach so i feel like i got this going pretty good now all those lipsticks and lip liners and stuff that you saw me just put in that drawer child i don't feel like going through that right now so it's not gonna happen i'm not about to force myself to do that <laughs> i'll just go put them in there if I use them, I use them. If I don't, I don't. When my other containers come tomorrow, I might end up rearranging all of this stuff. But I doubt it. Because I kind of really like um, how it looks with... Sorry, I got y'all on a tripod, so I'm just moving y'all around. I kind of like how it looks with, you know, the solid black. Now, this I wish I had in black as well. But I couldn't find a black smoky little four drawer like that. I know they exist, but I couldn't find one. So anyway, um, yeah, I like that for now. And we'll see what happens. But I would like to have a black four drawer and a black little pencil holder for my eyeliners. Because I do have my eyeliners in here, which is so easy and handy to grab when I need them so I'm not taking those out of there and I'm not moving them <laughs> so anyway uh yeah that's what we have and I feel like I'm making good progress I'm really really liking how things are coming together little by little um so yeah I'm tired <laughs> I am I'm tired I think I'm gonna go downstairs and irritate my husband for a little while. <laughs>